Hello everyone, hello grade 4, I hope you are fine. Our lesson for today about drawing the triangle. Actually we have two methods to draw triangle. The first method when he give you two sides and one angle between them. When he give you what? Two sides and one angle between them. This is the first case. What about the second case or the second method? The second method when he gave you two angles and only one side. When you give you what? Two angles and only one side. Now we will start with the first method. How to draw triangle when he gave you two sides and one angle between them. This is the first case. Here he asked me to draw the triangle ABC which AB equal equals what five centimeter and BC equal uh, six centimeter and measure of angle B equals what equals 80 degree so now we have two sides AB and BC and the, this angle must be what between them if you look here you will find AB and BC with uh, what is the common letter here the letter which is repeated B so here B and here B so the angle must be angle B so the angle between them must be what angle B so here of course he give me angle B angle B equals what equals 80 degree if he gives you the two sides or XY and XZ so the angle will be what the angle will be X if he gave you the two sides are uh, MN and MB so the angle will be what angle M that's it so the angle must be between the two sides here we will start the first thing we will look we have two sides the first step we have to draw one side the first step what we have to draw one side choose which one as you like but it will be best if you would if you choose the largest one or the greatest one here's the largest or the tallest one or the longest one the longest one here is what bc bc is the longest so i will draw bc so bc i will bring my ruler my ruler and i will draw how many centimeters six centimeters i will use another scale actually because i have a large ruler so now i will start you have to start from what from zero on your ruler start from zero until reach what six so now what i will do i will draw the first side here this side called what this side called bc so i will write the name of the side bc bc equals how many centimeters equals six centimeters so i will write six centimeters you have to write the all information you will draw about what you are drawing here i draw bc and bc equals what six centimeters so i draw six uh, centimeters i wrote six centimeters what about the second step the second step i will measure the angle yes i will measure the angle so the first step draw one side choose the longest side and draw it the second step measure the angle so now i will measure the angle the angle of what angle of b so i will put the center of my protractor on vertex b on vertex what b i will put what the center of my protractor i will catch the, pro uh, the protractor or hold the protractor like this and i will go to what to vertex b here is the vertex b and i will put the center of protractor on vertex b that's it and you have to make this line not like this no, don't put the protractor like this or like this it must be on the line on the side above this line here the center of protractor on the vertex b then this line the line of zero on the line above the line of what the line of this side now can i measure the angle yes if you put the if the vertex from here measure from here from the other side if the vertex from here you will measure from the other side the opposite always so now center of protractor on or above the vertex b the line of the zero 
above the line of the of uh, the side uh, BC, then I will measure the angle. Angle B equal what? Equal 80. So I will count from 0 until reach 80. Where? 80. 80 here. So I will put what? Dot. Just point or dot. Here mean what? Here mean 80. Then what I will do? Then I will join this vertex, this vertex with this dot. I will make a large one, large point or longest one. Let's see. Yes, like this. It's the longest one. Okay. So what I will do next? Here he gave me AB equals what? Equals five centimeters. So I have to draw what? Five centimeters on this side. This is the side of the angle. Angle here, angle B equal what? Equal 80 degrees. So I will write 80 degree here. Then I will determine on this ray, I will determine what? This side, the side AB, which is what? Which equals five centimeters. So I will draw by this ruler five centimeters. You have to start again from zero. So I will try from zero. So it will be until here. I think that will be until here. This is five centimeters. This is what, if you draw it, you will find this space is what? Five centimeters. And then called what? This vertex called A. Called what? Called A. Then what I will do? I will join this dot or this vertex with the other vertex. That's it. This is our triangle this is what this is our triangle so now i have a triangle a b c which is b c equal six centimeters b a or a b equal five centimeters angle b equal what equals 80 something uh, 80 degrees that's it so if he asked you to find the type of this triangle according to what according for example according to measure of its angle what you will do you will use your protractor and measure this angle and this angle if you measure this angle angle c angle c equals what here equal 40 degree from here 40 degree so now we have here 40 and here 80 so this will be what this will be 60 without using protractor that's it so what is the type of this triangle the type of this triangle is acute angled triangle if he asked you what is the sum of the two angles here without using protractor what you will do you will find you you know that the measure of the three angles of the triangle equals what equals 180 so it will be 180 minus 80 gives you what 100 so these two angles must be equal what 100 degrees that's it if he asked you what is the type of this triangle according to the side lenses here you have to know that this is six centimeters and this is what five centimeters now we will know we will measure this ang uh, the side this side and we will see this equals what actually it's seven almost seven centimeters so this is what this is what this is scalene it's what scalene triangle when we have we said before when we have three sides are equal in length called what called equilateral when we have two sides are equal and one side is different called isosceles when we have three different sides it's called what it's called the scalene it's called what scalene this is the first type how to draw triangle according to two sides according to what two sides and one angle between them he will give you two sides like this and one angle so what we will do we will choose the longest side and we'll draw it then this is the first step then we will measure the angle okay then on the ray of this angle we will determine the second the second what the second side 
when we determine the second side, then after this we can join between the two vertex and then we have what? Then we have a triangle. This is the first method. Okay? What about the second method? Let's see. What about the second type? The second type or the second method to draw a triangle when he gave you two angles and one side. He will give you what? Two angles and one side. And actually this is so easy. What we will do? We will draw the side first. We have what? One side. Like this. Here, draw triangle ABC in which AB equals 7 cm. Measure of angle A equals 60 degree. Measure of angle B equals 50 degree. After we will draw this triangle, he asked me to find the type of the triangle according to its measure angles or measure of its angles. So according to the measuring of its angles, we can know the type of the, this triangle. Actually, without drawing, can we know the type of this triangle? Yes, we can. He gives you two, he, uh, I'm sorry, he gave you two angles. Angle B 50 and the angle C equal what? 60. What about the third angle? The third angle equal what? It will be equal 180 minus 50 plus 60. So it will be 180 minus what? Minus 110. So it will be 70 degree. So the three angles here are what? Are acute angles. So the type of this triangle is what? Acute angle triangle. It's acute angle triangle. But now we will start with drawing this triangle. How to draw a triangle when he give you one side and two angles. So the first step I will draw the side. The side here is what? Seven centimeter. Again, I will hold my ruler and I will start with what? I will start with zero. And that's it. Like this. Yes. So zero till seven. But I will use another scale. Here, yes. Okay, that's it. This is what, this is seven centimeter. This is what, this is side AB, called AB, so I will write AB. This is the first vertex and this is the second vertex. That's it. What about the second step? The first step, I will draw the side. The second step, I will draw what? I will determine the angles according to its measure. Here, angle A. Angle A equals what? Equals 60 degree. So, I will put again the center of this protractor on the vertex A. Where is vertex A? Here. Here, vertex A. So I will put the center of this protractor on vertex A. And the line of zero of this protractor above the line of this side. Then A equals what? Equals 60. So I will start counting from zero until reach 60. Where is 60? Here. So I will make dot here. That's it. Then what I will do? You can use the protractor or ruler to join from this vertex to this dot. Please draw ray. Draw what ray? But I, we, I need it longer, longer than this point. So I will make it pass through this point. This is the first ray. This is what the first ray. And this angle equals what? Equal 60 degree. What about the angle B? Again, I will go with the center of this protractor to the vertex B. So here, I will put the vertex of protractor, uh, I'm sorry, the center of the protractor on vertex B and the line of uh, zero of protractor above this line. Then I will measure angle B. Angle, angle B is what equals 50. Where is 50? Here. 50 is what? Here. You can see it. It's here 50 degree. So I will make what? I will make dot. I will make what? Dot. Then what I will do? I will draw ray. I will draw what? Ray. But I will make it pass through this dot. And longer than this. I will extend this ray until it's what? It intersects with this ray. 
in point. This point called what? This point called point C. When the two rays intersect in point, they will meet in point or meet in point this uh, uh, point called uh, point C or vertex C. So now we have a triangle. When he give you only one side and two angles, this angle 50 degree and this angle 60 degree. What about this angle without? Without measuring, without using a protractor, we can find the third angle. How come? We will know that the three angles equal what? 180. So, measure of angle C equals what? Equals 180 minus 60 degree plus 50 degree. So, it will be 180 minus 180. 10 equals what equals 70 degree so measure of angle c equals what equals 70 degree what about the type of this triangle according to measure of angles it's what here we have acute 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 three acute angles so it's what acute angled triangle so all of you now can draw any triangle. Yes, it's so easy. We have only two methods or two cases. The first case when he gave you two sides and one angle between them. I will draw uh, the longest side. Then I will determine the angle. And on the line or on the lay, uh, ray of this uh, angle, I will draw the second side. Then I will connect between the two vertices. That's it. It will be a triangle. Okay. Can I determine the type of the triangle according to the measure of its angle? Yes. By use, you can use the protractor or like this in the second method. Here he gave me two angles. Okay. He gave me what? Two angles. Can I find the third one? Yes. Without a protractor, I can do it because I know the three angles equals what? Equals 180. So it will be 180 minus the sum of the uh, two angles that's it then I can find the type of the tri this triangle if he asked you to find the type of the triangle according to uh, side lengths what you will do you will use your ruler and you start from zero and then see here how many centimeters here how many centimeters here and then you can determine the type of the triangle according to what according to uh, its side lengths that's it I hope you are enjoy and if you have any question please write it in a comment thank you for listening and goodbye bye bye